What's up with YouTube? Back with the most illustrious YouTube channel of 2022. Decide this year I'm gonna do something different. I'm probably gonna do a couple of videos with me in front of the camera, which I usually don't do. Y'all see I'm in here sweating. I'm in here sweating uh, in the snake room. Got this heater on, it's very warm. And I have a hoodie on, so. But anyway, we're gonna check out some of these 2020, these 2021 babies. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all make sure y'all like, uh, follow, share, subscribe. Check me out on on uh, Instagram. Let me know how y'all liking the parents. Let me know how y'all like these holdbacks. Just holler at your boy. Let me hear some. All right, guys, so we're going to, all right, we back. We're going to start with these two girls here. As my first two, I'm going to show off of my whole back videos. This is a mahogany spot nose head ultramail and a mahogany head ultramail. Both females I'm, I decided to keep back. Uh, these girls are amazing, man. I really like the way they turned out. The camera really not picking up that colors too good. They just had a big meal. Both of them just had big meals, so I'm not going to keep them out too long. But yeah, these are my first two whole bag girls, a uh, mahogany spot nose head ultra male and a mahogany head ultra male. Both of these girls will be, uh, for sure the spot nose will be going to an ultra, uh, a leopard or ultra male clown, for sure. The other one, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go the acid route with her, uh, acid ultra male. Probably gonna try to hit some uh, acid, mojave, mahogany ultra males with her. That, that should be dope. I should have acid. Uh, <clears throat> I should have acid ocean mills this season. Hopefully, if my boy, if my boy picks up and start uh, doing what he's supposed to do, but yeah, these two girls are definitely packing on that weight. They both about 400 grams. Very promising hold backs for some great projects. All right, guys. Next girl, another female, of course. Uh, next one up is my. Uh, this is a leopard inchy head ultra mill that I'm holding back for future projects. Unfortunately, she isn't shed, so you guys really can't see the rich tones that she has in her. But I believe this project mixed in with Blackhead is gonna be amazing. So I'm uh, working on some Blackhead Ultra Mill combos right now that I'm gonna put, that I'll, I'll end up putting her to in the future. But yeah, man, I really love this girl, man. She's amazing, good eater. All these girls are amazing eaters. Uh, Growing up, growing up very, very well. Not rushing them anything, but they're looking very promising for next, next, uh, probably next season. Not this, not 2022, probably 2023. They're packing it on. I don't see if they don't stop eating on me or anything like that. They all should be uh, pretty good as far as like uh, weight and the size I want them to be. But yeah, this is a leopard inchy, 100% hit ultra male. All right, guys. So the next up is my favorite. My favorite female holdback of this season is a um, Cypress Yellow Belly 100% Hit Ultra Male. These, this particular combo came out amazing. Those colors, the blacks, the way the Yellow Belly contrasts with it, just the whole setup is nice. I, and this with Ultra Male, I've already seen it, so I know it's going to be nice. Uh, this girl is uh, not the best eater, but she's uh, picked up. I actually switched her from paper to, uh, to Repti Chip, and it's really helped out a lot. So she's eating very, very well now. Uh, she is a very amazing girl. I cannot wait to uh, get her going. She's a little feisty too, so she's looking like she want to strike at me in a minute. But yeah, this girl is a Cypress Yellow Belly 100% hit Ultra Male. All right, guys, so next two holdback girls are actually clutch mates. Uh, I was going for red stripe, yellow belly, cypress, but I missed it. So, so I held back these two uh, nice looking girls. One is a cypress and one is a uh, red stripe, yellow belly. I keep these two girls back for breeding. Not gonna spend too much time on these. They're not hit anything, but they're some nice girls. I should hold. I can hold back for some nice combos in the future. They actually getting a little squirrely, so I'm gonna put them back up. But yeah, this is a uh, cypress and a red stripe yellow belly. The red stripe actually had a nice meal. You can see the lump in it right now. We have these two girls will be staying here for some breeding projects in the future. Beautiful, beautiful girls, man. I really like how the quality that my uh, Cypress boy threw when he in his Cypress uh, combos. I sold a couple of his daughters and 
this this particular clutch had no mail, so I saw everything except these two. Uh, but the, I produced uh, another red stripe girl out of it and a uh, Cypress Yellow Belly that I sold, and those two are exceptional as well. But yeah, my Cypress boy threw out some great quality animals this season, so I hope uh, his head clown stuff is amazing because I'm planning on making head clowns with him this season. But yeah, hold on, be right back with some more. All right, guys, what you, I know you guys been waiting on, probably waiting on some clown stuff, so we're going to go towards the head clowns first. These are two of my head clowns that I held, but I held back this season. It's a uh, two, one, uh, 0 0.2 hurricane head clown. So both of these girls will be staying here more than likely. Uh, I really ain't made my, haven't made my mind up. If I do keep, if I do sell one, it'll be the one on the uh, right. The one on the left, as you can see, is a better eater, and she'll be staying here. The one on the left is a good eater as well, but the one on the right is just a monster. So both these girls are uh, gonna be kept back for future breeding, more than likely. Uh, I really like the way these came out. The hurricane uh, is very, I like the pattern on it a lot. Uh, you can see those little hooks and things and they have an amazing belly. Yeah, yeah these girls are some nice, uh, some very good future, project, future breeding. Uh, one of these girls will definitely be going to an ultra male clown, more than likely this one. Uh, this one right here should definitely be going to an ultra male clown in the future. This one probably be going to like an enhancer or a desert ghost clown or something. But yeah, big projects, big projects uh, in the future for these girls. These girls are absolutely amazing. And uh, can't wait to see them growing. One day be sitting on a nice clutch of eggs. But yeah, these are my female hurricanes, head clowns. All right, y'all. Next is my uh, gonna be a couple males. I know I've been a lot of, I've been very female heavy. But the next one is uh, I've been trying to produce this snake for years, man. I've been wanting one forever. And this is a fire spot nose clown. <clears throat> I produced him from a visual clown female and a fire spot nose male that I've been having for a while. And uh, yeah, he came out amazing. He came out humongous as well. Right now, he's probably sitting at like 191 grams, almost 200 grams. He had started about 98 uh, to 100 grams. So he a big boy, man. He probably probably be breeding by the summertime. Or I'm, I probably won't start breeding him to winter because I don't like breeding males that young. But if he'll breed, he'll breed, man. But he is an amazing, uh, amazing little guy. I like him a lot, man. He's a great eater. And he's uh, almost 200 grams out. He's probably only had about five meals. And he's already taken uh, small wing rats. So yeah, he's a good boy. Good, good, healthy, thick boy. So he'll be, uh, he'll be sending a few ladies next season, 2022, uh, uh, 2023 season. That I got planned for him. Uh, one of my favorites of this season. But next will be my absolute favorite holdback of the 2021 season. I'll be showing him off in a moment. This guy is kind of getting kind of squirrely, so I'm going to put him back up. He just had a nice meal as well. So, be right back. All right, guys. Here he is. My favorite holdback of uh, absolute favorite. My favorite female was the uh, was the uh, Cypress Yellow Belly Hit Ultra Male. But this guy right here, this uh, Cypress. Oh, no, this is... Uh, Cypress. I, this is a hurricane clown, visual hurricane clown male that I, I held back. So he's going to be a powerhouse, an awesome stud. I got some nice stuff going on with him next season. And uh, we'll get him up to size and get him going to a couple of nice females. I really can't wait, man. <clears throat> really can't wait to get some combo some combo uh, hurricane clown stuff, man. Especially ultra male clown. Hurricane ultra male clown is going to be sick. Uh, DG Hurricane Clowns gonna be sick. All that stuff is gonna be amazing. <clears throat> so y'all just stay tuned. I know I don't post a lot. I'm gonna try to change that up in 2022. Try to get a little, get more consistent with you guys and give you more content. Show y'all what's going on. Kind of stress for me, man. I'm gonna be 100% transparent. I'm a very private person. I'm not one to be in the spotlight. I like a lot of attention. So I'm gonna try to change that up a little bit. 2022 and kind of show uh show off more of my animals 
because I got some, I got some, I got some very nice projects going on. So uh, I appreciate you guys for wa for watching the videos. Please like, follow, subscribe, share it, everything you gotta do. Uh, give your boy multiple thumbs up. Just uh, check out my videos, man. Y'all have a blessing.